Hi, I'm Scott. I'm down here at the uh, Awapuni Resource Recovery Park, which is actually the old Palmerston North landfill, which is closed now. Um, so I, I, it's this, I, this is quite funny to me because I like, you know, like obviously we do acknowledge that we're going to have to use the stuff in this landfill in the future uh, when we realize that the, the resources are running out. Uh, because basically we've got a social model at the moment that, well, in a nutshell, we've got an anti-economy that is artificially premised on consumerism and jobs and people just doing stuff to keep the whole thing going. Um, you know, lots of sales and sales and sales and the new iPhone comes out every year and, you know, it's quite hilarious really when you look around the, the planet and see the vast destruction of waste that's actually in play here. Um, you know, you just have to look at the stats and, and see what's coming. And we need 27 planet Earths by 2050 if we want to keep the board game going. So what my campaign is about is about actually reframing the debate into something that's relevant uh, so that we can move towards a real economy, you know, like a, like a true economy, you know, like one that actually is based on something real. Because at the moment, this economy is destroying more than it produces. Well, it's the next big thing if some businesses are to be believed. It's air in a can. And New Zealand companies are exporting it to some of China's most polluted cities. They call it air farming. And our air is so popular, even Australian companies are coming over to harvest it. The definition of economy in Greek means management of a household. A reduction of waste and maximised efficiency is inherent in this premise. Is this the way our current market system is operating? Well, let's take a step back again. What drives the global economy? Consumption, and the more the better. More consumption means more jobs, better GDP, and hence enabling more consumption through purchasing power that's enabled. Is that efficient? Shouldn't preservation and reducing waste be the basis of an economy on a finite planet by definition? How can an economy based on the need for constant growth and turnover, and even an economy based on the constant need for employment, be economising anything at all? She looked uh, so much better I'm worried now. about the can uh, though, Philip. Yeah. I'm worried about the can. In what sense? Well, made in a factory in China. Oh yes, yes. Part of the problem. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you could, probably can't get cans made here. The only type of economy that could be called an economy is one that takes extraction, production, distribution, recycling, and organizes them into the most strategically, scientifically advanced way possible. And see, we have the technology today to actually address these issues, to address the planned obsolescence that's inherent in our social model. And, um, you know, we, we need to move away from this idea that we can, we can just buy and throw away, buy and throw away, buy and throw away, buy and throw away to maintain jobs and um, to keep the growth going, you know, the wages and the, the spending and the budgets and all, it, all the moving the digits around and the spreadsheets that, um, that people think that keeps the system going. Uh, well, it does, it keeps the system going, but it's not really contributing anything at all. And so in the future, a very large number of the New Zealand population won't have to work at all because their jobs are entirely pointless. Basically anything to do with money, basically uh, banking, finance, insurance, sales, real estate, that's all going away because it has to if we want to have a planet left. And uh, we really, really need to understand this in the context of public health because when people think of public health, they don't really think of the ecological crisis. And unfortunately, the ecological crisis on hand that is accelerating exponentially is a massive growing public health crisis. And that's why the suicide rates are only going to increase until these issues are addressed at the structural level. Uh, and what I mean by that is I'm talking about a system change, not a law change. You know, and it's a I don't want to do an advertisement for you, but that is beautiful air. Yes. 
Well, you might have a big fat mortgage and a big fat interest rate to service that mortgage, and I certainly do. But what if we told you that the money the bank lent you doesn't actually exist? You're paying interest on a loan that's been conjured up out of thin air. Sound crazy? 